Hello. Happy Friday. It's so late though. Honestly, I was sitting here going, should I stream today? I'm kind of tired, but screw it. We're, we're gonna, I, I really want to finish case three. So we're gonna do that. Rabble, rabble, rabble. That's right. Hello, Terry. Welcome. Welcome to, I pray there's no more clowns acting up in this case because I don't got time for that. <sighs> All right, let me, let me boot up the game. The game. It might be loud at the start. I think Von Karma smacked him enough times. I sure hope so. Because I'm so done. So done. Let's get on over here. Where? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, please. You gotta show yourself. <coughs> Alright. So, see you styling? That's right. That's right. We're in... Wearing them glasses today, even though it's like night. But don't, uh, don't question it. We we gotta, we be cool. New guy is the culprit. He's in a wheelchair. That's right. That's right. What's up with this dude? Why why is he making himself known now? Hmm. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hi, Effie. I am planning to finish case three tonight. That is the plan. All right, case three done. And then we finish case four. And then after that, we just go straight. To I'm kidding now. I don't know if I want to go straight to trials and tribulations. If I still want Ace Attorney, then yeah, sure. But I'm so, I'm so excited to get to trials and tribulations, honestly. I need y'all to meet somebody so bad. I really, really do. Oh, sheesh. Okay, let's... Let's start. Let's just throw myself into it and then watch me forget all of the evidence that we collected last week. <laughs> December 30. 941 District Court, Defendant Lobby number 5. Good morning, Max. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. Teehee. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. Regina! How fabulous! My sweetie pie! My sweetie pie princess! So weird. You came to watch my performance today. Of course I did. Mo told me I should come and watch this. Mo said that? So, what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess, you'll fly at the end? Uh, it's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on or even where she is. Hmm. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. Today, I'm just a member of the audience. Fabulous. I enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. I want so badly to give her a valley girl voice, but I don't think she has valley girl voice. Regina's different, don't you think, Nick? Top of the morning to ya! Everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo! How low can you go? Mo. Top of the morning to ya, governor! Uh, top of the morning. That's the ticket. Attack of the day starts the energy in the morning. The early bird gets the worm, but then again, worms lack higher brain function. Ah, 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 ah. Here, Max. I brought you a present. Have some milk. Oh, my. Thanks. So how are you today, right? Well, I've got the feeling that today I'm going to face off against a real culprit. You mean Acro? Huh? You think he did it? Be careful. He's used to putting his life on the line, literally. He's got guts to spare. All I gotta worry about is how thin the tightrope is. I'm used to it already. 
That just means that I won't be able to press him like I can. What? No! 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 Don't tell me it's a round two of- Oh! I can't press him like I can other witness- What does that mean, Phoenix? What are you gonna do then, Nick? Are you saying that you're gonna penalize me again? <laughs> I guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. It's the only way we'll get past Akaro into the truth. Wow. Were you not doing that before, Phoenix? <laughs> Was that not something before? I want you to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. Then she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. You want us to make sure Regina watches? Yes. That's why I brought her here to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they just don't become stars. I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. She... he wants her to have the brutal reality of death. Quartz is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Very well, Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise its previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? We have to dis we have discovered a new eyewitness. Or shall I say oh, well, I just read all that wrong, but whatever. One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Order, order. I had a feeling something like this would come up. Due to this revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need is so arises. In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor Gumshoe. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe. Very well, please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom type rope. Name and occupation. Hen Dingling. But everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acrobat at the Big Berry's Berry Big Circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. Huh? Really? I thought you were at the hospital. Well... No, I guess not. If you look at the map, you will see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm... The night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. I will. What I witnessed? It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then, a few moments later, I saw someone flying. Right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I, I thought I was dreaming. Hmm, this witness's testimony matches up exactly with that clown. If that's the case, there's very little need- uh, very little the prosecution need add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad fool. A man must know the proper timings for these things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, did. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Miss Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well, you may proceed with your cross-examination. So, 
I won't die, right? <coughs> I won't die if I press. I have like PTSD. I heard a large thump out of your window. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin or perhaps a large action figure. Hmm. Well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is possible. You have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix Wright. Testify to truth, and only the truth, just as if you were there... Just as if we were there with you that night. I believe it was a human. Hmm. There's nothing wrong. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. Oh, they're out to get me. They're about to eat me alive. It was Max Galactica. The light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed after all. So with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see the human fly by your window? Safety lights lit the, uh, things up for me to see, but honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. I was the only person's... It was the person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses on the front. You see anything other than the symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat, as well as the cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. The more I press him, the less results I seem to get. But maybe there was something fit. Oh no, they're doing this to me. I uh, uh it's like if you press you gotta you gotta prove. Press and prove immediately. Okay. Well when I saw that I thought I was dreaming. That's not important. Yes it is! I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's memory. Hmm, just to make sure, let's ask the witness. Ah! Oh, objection. Sustained. Don't sustain that! Hacker must be lying about what he saw, right? Of course he is. So the challenge would be to expose his lies in court. I'll put the metal... I already forgot what it said. Put the pedal to the metal? He said you were resting in bed. Yeah, turn off the lights. Okay, don't answer the question. No, okay, that was just a repeat of earlier. And you said that you were resting in bed, that's correct, but you were still able to hear a sound from outside? I was indeed. I was like, Akron doesn't seem to get results. Oh, shoot! I didn't mean to hit that! Ah! <laughs> Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Do I have- uh, I didn't mean to do that! Oh! <laughs> there was a huge thump? Was there no, like, double thumps? Oh! 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 I didn't mean it! <laughs> oh my god. Well, shocks. Can I back out? No. No? Okay. It's over. I will die. Uh. Oh! Well, I don't know. This is just gonna be a throwaway. What in the world is this? You don't get it. What I don't get. You're not... You're gonna be able to bluff your way through this one. Okay, okay. They don't kill me. Oh, dude. I love Griffin Wrong. Huh? Who's that? <laughs> the high bean boy. Oh, sorry. Phoenix right? Oh, pain. <laughs> high bean boy. Good evening. Happy Friday. Okay, at least they don't kill me. I saw someone flying by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind. That's who it looked like. You know what? I'm going to press here. And I'm just going to say... Happy 
Friday. How's it going? Yeah, there is a contradiction. I don't actually know. I'm bluffing. There's a huge contradiction. And prove it with evidence. I don't... Honestly, I'm surprised that the hat's still on. You claim to have... Ooh, oh my god, my brain's so big. It's still wrinkly. I thought it's it feels really smooth right now, but I guess I, I, I popped up a wrinkle. One? You claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night. That would have been quite con difficult considering the state that I'm in. Because looking outside the window was tough enough a challenge for me. That's a shame, because you would have noticed the silk hat found at the scene. That... That's the Ringmaster's hat, right? Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? No, this is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model made only for Maximilian Galactica. Which means Acro... You be lying! Is what Phoenix would have said if he was not professional about it. <laughs> As always, it looks like someone just had to open their mouth before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Oh boy, he really is Mr. Right. <laughs> well, I opened my big mouth and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Right? What would cause a witness to commit perjury in this court today? He's the real culprit! He has a grudge against Max? Afros? Nah, nah, we go in all in. All in. He's the real culprit. Ooh, big accusation. Your honor, on this occasion, the defense accuses Acro himself. On this occasion, uh, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Yes, sir, right. Are you serious? Deadly serious, your honor. Why would you s No, 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 no. Nobody- de Not dead. No, don't- don't say that. Ha ha ha. I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to have learned how to try and grab an audience of hearts and minds by being a freaking clown in the court. Is what she would say. Don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at this witness. He's a Disney princess who has birds all over him. There's no way he could possibly be the culprit. Look, they're even attacking Phoenix Wright. Animals know a person far more than a regular human. Mr. Dingling. <laughs> Do you have any response to defense's accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me, a Disney princess, of murder, of all things. See? Even a sliver of common sense makes it clear the accusation is ludicrous. Yeah, feel bad about yourself. Why are you picking on a disabled man, you cruel... You cruel attorney, lawyer man? Phoenix is a poopy head. <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. <laughs> say that, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Ah, uh, I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm that Acro was unable to stand under his own power. Maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I have an updated... Anatomy report. What was it? Uh, a physical report. Imagine, Phoenix just whips it out. I can hear the defense now. Acro had an accomplice. 
What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Akira have an accomplice? And I don't think he did. I think his accomplice is his two guns of biceps of his arms. He didn't. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of the mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. What? what You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you blabbering about, Mr. Wright? There was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Order, order. What the? What are you getting at? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick. Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. I have to show how Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. Alright, then let's do it. Mr. Phoenix writes, If this witness is a killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm, Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? Oh, I got you. Hey, sorry if you guys said anything to me. I was talking to some friends. Nah, you're good, Bean Boy. I was just asking how you, how you've been doing. But welcome back. All right. Honestly, I think he was here. He was, he was here. That's Acro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the logic house by himself. In that case, there can only be one correct answer. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? What are you say? What say you, Mr. Dingling? I think he's a dum dum. It's an interesting theory. Uh, that's it? It's a ring that what you propose is impossible. Yes, that's it. He makes me look dumb. Mm, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there is no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Mm, you got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. I was out drinking with some friends, so we decided to go back home. Very glad, because now that I'm home, I have a sleepy little bean bundle or some blankies with the dog. Ooh, cozy. Cozy, warm, a little bit, a little bit boozed up. That's, that's nice. That's a good feeling. But Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Hmm, how did he do it? That's the next course of, the, of this legal buffet. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here... She's right, I can't mess up here. I've got to give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro killed the ringmaster. And he did it while he was in his room, no doubt about it. A glad cozy brain overpowered get another drink brain? <laughs> hey, that's... I... I don't drink, but you can't... Uh, coziness is too good. <sighs> Time to enlighten us how to Mr. Dinkling... Dink... Dinkling? Dingling? Commi Ooh, can I... Can I prove that? I think I know what killed him. But I don't know how to... Yeah, present that evidence. Do I have... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that worked? Oh my god. Cool. Nice. What's that? A picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? It's quite a large bust. And because it is life-size, it is also very, very heavy. Heavy. Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped fr from a third-story window. Ah! 
See? This is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster, with the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. Okay, out of context. <laughs> I mean, somebody could probably take that a different way. But, you know, he's right. He is right. There is no other way to have worded it, I suppose. I would... Would statue work here? I guess not. Maximin Galactica's ample bust indeed. Why ample? Why would you describe it that way, though? Why didn't you just say... Hadn't actually... Any descriptor wouldn't work here. So you're saying the bust fell onto the ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it'd be incredibly easy to commit. He actually was a criminal? It was that the plan, Terry? We're supposed to pin it on this new guy. <laughs> How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy it's impossible? Not if you have arms of steel. Well, Acro's an acrobat. You should have more than enough opera body strength to carry something like that bust. Mr. Dingling, how do you respond to these charges? He hates it. Acro's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Acro. You can't ru- I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is it just me or is Phoenix's head too small for his body? <laughs> is it? I don't know. I guess I've just been looking- at him for so long, it hasn't... It hasn't bugged me. Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm, testimony you say. Lon Karma. She's just using this testimony as a ruse to solve her time. There is absolutely no need for such testimony. The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has a right to respond. The defense's ob objection is overruled. Why can't he see things my way for once in a while? Just once! Just, just at least once, Judge. Come on. Give it to us. Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but we need to... He needs you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Ugh. That woman will sink to any low to win a case. Making me look bad. Making me feel like I don't like disabled people. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bus. Do you see these guns? Look at them. They, his shoulders are like the size of his head. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? Hmm. I have no doubts in regards to this witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bus and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. I can't get her... I just... I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Come on, Phoenix. You got this. You suppose? Have you ever lifted up the bus before? No, I've never actually lifted it up with my own two hands. But I should get to it. Don't you think I can't let money outdo me on this? Money? The crazy monkey has lifted Max's bus before? Probably tried. Hmm. Please continue. Stop playing with- Stop playing with the birds! Oh, I've listed a bus. I've list. <laughs> Lifted a bust or two in my time, eyeballs. So what are you doing to keep in shape? 
Well, honestly, I've given up on training. I don't have any plans to return to the trapeze or the tightrope. You don't say, but no offense. Uh, I'm not worried about losing to you in a race or anything. Neither am I, Mr. Phoenix, right? I wouldn't lose either, Slowpoke. I mean, Nick. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did the discussion turn to me all of a sudden? I suppose you could say that I'm stronger than the average bear. Ooh, this reminds me of the question that people were randomly asking. Like, if you had to fight an animal, what animal do you think you could take? And a lot of the guys that I talked to were like, I could take a bear. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> However, lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. Why? Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. A bear? Yeah. Terry, do you think you could take on a bear in a fight? A bear? <laughs> like, if you were to just sock a bear in the face, do you think you would take it on a fight? <laughs> because... I, I don't know why, but that, that was like a question that was going around. And I asked my coworkers this because they're all like, they're all dudes who we just ask random stuff throughout the night. And one of them was, what if you, if you could take on an animal in a fight, what type of animal would you be able to take on a fight? I love that they just let her have a whole, have a whip in the courtroom and continue to let her threaten people with it. Why? Why do they let her do this? <laughs> she just whips people. The only one that I agreed with is when she started whipping the clown. When she started whipping the clown, I was like, oh my god. Thank you. Because he talks too much. And he needs to stop talking. Because he's lying with every single sentence that he, he, he just spewed out in court. Thank you. Thank you. The only time I agreed with Von Karma. After that, I'm like, girly, put your put your whip away. <laughs> so I haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. So you couldn't have thrown that bus out the window. Do you have her number? Eyeballs, Bean Boy? Eyeballs? <laughs> There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. How long do you think your recovery will take? Hmm, you have to remember that my nerves are severely damaged. I'm currently undergoing some extremely intensive rehabilitation. But it's still gonna take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bus, he would not be able to see out below the window. You know, if you think the the, the whip is funny, it's like, it's, it's a lot. There's a guy later on, a... There's a there's another prosecutor later on in the series uh, who plays like a guitar, but in the court, it's not like a legitimate guitar, but he does like the movements of the hands and there's like an electric guitar that plays every single time he does it. So it's literally an air guitar kind of deal every time, but I love him, so I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. The whip, it's too much. But the, the guy with the guitar, oh, he's good. He's great. <laughs> Does this read as sarcastic? I hope so. Or a lot of people on Switch think I'm insane. No, 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 it's good. It's good. I, I like the face. The face, that emote does convey. It, it does convey exactly what you mean. Uh, that makes it impossible for me to have known the location. That's not true! Why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't see out the window. Thus, there's no way that I would know the location of the ringmaster's head. Well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick. Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think it, of it sort of like this. If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, that he could drop the bust. That does make sense. If only I could prove that somehow. All of these were not posed for LOL. They were all Bean Girls cover. <laughs> she captures every moment of you. Those are very good. I think I've... 
uh, already explained things sufficiently. That's would uh, be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? If all I had to do was drop it, then it wouldn't have been a problem at all. If all I had to do was drop it, you're right, I could have done that. However, there's no way that I could land a direct hit on the ringmaster's head. Why are we just focusing on his head? Couldn't you have snapped his neck or just broken his back and that would have done almost nearly the same thing? I guess it would be like a one hit KO on the head, but like, even if you were just able to snap his neck, right? You just had to land it on him in some way. That's terrible for me to say, but I'm just, that's just the truth of the matter. You just had to hit him. <laughs> The problem is how he would have aimed for the ringmaster's head. Maybe we overlook something? Nah, girly. We got this. We got this. We got this. I say that. I say that so confidently and then I'm gonna save scum my way through this because I don't... <laughs> I don't trust this game after what it did to me earlier. It was so evil. Why would you do that to me? I'm smart. Acro. You didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. You're silly hinting at things as pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Enough stalling! How about you show us some evidence? But... But I did a good job at hinting. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright! Maybe you should take a look at this. The key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over. The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Who? When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding the box. Which means... That this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. Dr. Eggman bent over? <laughs> no. Dr. Eggman would not fall for a silly ruse like this. Dr. Eggman is above that. He is above this. <laughs> I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. The moment that the bus came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Which means that the answer to all the questions is now crystal clear. You... you mean... If the bus were to fall upon the point marked out by the wooden box, there'd be no way that it would miss the head of the victim. No! Oh. Didn't see that coming, huh? Vod Karma? Order, order, order. This is unbelievable. Finally, some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. Now I just gotta keep going, and there's only one way to go from here. Ford. So the next question I have is, who placed the wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Dingling, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. Oh! Allow me to whip some sense into you, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Oh! Oh! The ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted the box. That's why the box was so specially made. Sp specially made? It's indeed. It had the most peculiar feature. What? The contents of the box. Do you recall what was inside the wooden box? There was only a small bottle of pepper, wasn't there? Get on with it. Well, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I don't see any relationship between the location of his head and the box's... I think I might have outthought myself. Same Phoenix! I got all excited! No, Nick, you didn't think it up! What do you mean I didn't think it up? I thought he- uh, maybe he like sniffed the pepper! Was it pepper? I think it was pepper. And then he just sneezed way too much and then that was enough time to stall for him to get hit in the head, you know? 
Indeed, it had the most peculiar fe- Oh, okay, so he gave it to me, thank god. Uh, uh, what was it? What was the box? It boasts a small but strong lock. What? Okay, wait, that doesn't answer my question. It's a 20 pound box, kind of heavy ish. You know what? Uh, the weight of the box. The box has a remarkable weight. Weight, according to the court record, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift up this wooden box would have required... Oh, I see. One would have to squat down to lift it up with their body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly that I, what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. The, no, we only had the weight. But I guess in the picture it's kind of big. The box also has a carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? That is correct. To lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. If you were using proper ergonomics, this is my PSA that makes sure you have good posture when you're carrying heavy objects. Use your knees, your legs, your knees especially, not your back. Everybody understand? Use your knees, not your back. Squat down. Lift with legs. That's important. Especially if you're working with heavy objects. And especially if you're working with heavy patients. <laughs> it, it's so amazing to me that, like, I, I've actually taken care of patients where the size that I'm able to lift alone. Like, I, I've taken care of big patient, big patients, okay? Very, very large patients. And I've encountered some patients that the recommended weight for me to be carrying by myself is like the size is is their arm alone. I'm only supposed to be carrying their arm. But then they expect me to be carrying like three times my weight when I roll them over. <laughs> it's very, very important. Because it's quick to in you're you're quick to injure yourself with heavy objects and people. Mr. Phoenix, if you could please squat for the court and drop that thing low. <laughs> but there you go. That is that is my emphasis, my health emphasis. Please raise, please lift with your legs. Which means that no matter who you are, your head would be in approximately the same place. Fool! This butter. Is Butterball awake? I might need to take a look. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that, Akro? Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I've heard what you've had to say. And? I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative, imaginative skills. You, you, did you do it? Did you place this wooden box in the plaza? I've never thought about lifting patients. That would be brutal. A person's dead weight is so hard to lift. Dead weight's so different, though. Even okay. Like this is kind of morbid, for a, I guess in the middle of Phoenix, right? But dead weight really is so different. I've taken care of a patient who's roughly my weight, and unfortunately was in a very emergent situation to where they were pretty much dead weight. And despite them being the same weight as I am, them being dead weight is, it's different. You, even though they are 130 pounds and that shouldn't be an incredible amount to be able to turn or to lift, they, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how different the weight is. So if you ever encounter somebody like that, and especially if they're larger than you, always ask for help. Always ask for help to be lifting because you don't want to be injuring yourself in the in the process. But it is very different. Agreed, agreed. So did you do it, Acro? Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I can never have done what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bust? 
I remember. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. Hmm. Then what, will ha what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave the logic house by myself. Ah, that means... You understand what I mean, don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bus from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bus from the cafeteria to my room? Rabble, 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 rabble. You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright, explain that! And don't forget, you said there was no accomplice! Ugh! I did. But there was no accomplice. Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bus from the cafeteria. Isopli, can you hide the body with my brother? We would try to hide each other as complete dead. <laughs> no way. Actually, Bean Boy, did you see? There is a game that's coming out that is like hide the body or something like that. It, it looks like a VR game. I'm sure there's like a non VR version, hopefully, because it looks like a silly game. Uh, but that is exactly the premise. The premise is that game. You kill like some mafia overlord or whatever and you have to hide up hide the body in record time before somebody discovers it and there's like multiple ways to get rid of the body or hide it it, it looks like fun that's honestly funny as hell yeah if i don't remember exactly the name but it had to be like hide the body something like that we definitely have a problem here. There's no place to get perplexed. I got to get my wits about me and prove how things happen once and for all. All right, Mr. Wright, let's hear your explanation. Let me save before you ask me this question. No! All right, how did he do it? Do I have his wheelchair? I think he got it from his wheelchair. Unless, okay, unless the monkey is just able to haul, like, a, a crazy amount of weight, and they're expecting me to, to use that. How, how do I, how do I say his wheelchair? Hmm. Okay, I'll just go with my first plan. Here's the evidence that proves how he carried it. What do you think about this evidence, Ms. Walton Karma? What do you think about this evidence, witness? What do you think about this evidence, Mr. Wright? Huh. Oh! Here's one from me, too. Wow! Naya, kick! Ow, 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 ow! Here, I thought that the bus was a deadly weapon. Everybody's just beating him up. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have a problem here. No place. How do I prove it? Okay, money. Money the monkey. For real? Oh my god. How How is the monkey able to lift? That monkey got gains. <laughs> is, is what I'm understanding. <laughs> A monkey? Everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects of any size. Oh, like when he sold a ventriloquist ring. So, are you saying the witness had the monkey steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own and then brought it back home. Home. Money lives in Acro's room. Acro's room? But the bust was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze isn't all that shiny. It doesn't matter. You can't decide what a monkey wants. Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. Miss Von Karma. My, my, those are some very nice cars he's holding. I. Wait, you're my Liz. L.S. Parasocial White Whale. I have befriended every other streamer friend either in Discord chillin'. Or either hanging out IRL. What? White whale? I don't understand. What are you trying to say to me? <laughs> am I am I doing it, guys? Am I finally building this parasocial relationship with my chat? Is it working? When when do I develop this dynamic? 
So that way, when I do build that parasocial chat, do I count? I don't know. Do you count, Terry? You know too much about me. Is it even parasocial anymore? Are, are we just... Are we just friends, Terry? <laughs> You're so chill, but I've never had a back and forth conversation without without one of us being text chat. Ah, I see. It's okay, Bean Boy. I'll I'm if I'm your first parasocial relationship, this is I, I'm so honored to be your first. And then what it is is that we'll have this frank back and forth where we where we were just like just talking about stuff and having a good time. Yet I've followed you longer than any other streamer. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I fear the day that I actually do develop an, uh, a parasocial relationship or 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 not me that somebody develops a parasocial relationship with me and then I just have to to scare them away because they're going to realize I'm just mor morbidly fascinated with the human body and I would just start psychoanalyzing them live on stream. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, look at this guy. He's like showing the signs of all the terrible parasocialism and his mental health is probably at the lowest. He needs friends. How about y'all be his friends? <laughs> I will accept psychoanalysis. Oh no. Nah, not you. you. You've been chill. Thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate you coming around and hanging out as much as you do. It's been a while since I've like welcomed people into my sphere because of like previous weirdos in chat. So it is nice to see uh, a, fr a friend, uh, a familiar face frequent. And come by and i'm always thankful thankful for it <coughs> i need water <laughs> i need water it's just a shame that i can't catch your streams as much because i'm always asleep i'm i'm sleeping so much throughout the day but i i am happy when i can catch your streams too i need more streamer buddies that's what i need <laughs> okay, where are we? They are made of platinum, which is very shiny. Them cards. Ugh. Acro. Money is a strong monkey, right? Does he have gains? If he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. Wait, what? Are, are you just conceding to the fact that you need like, a monkey with gains? It's fine. I stream like once in a blue moon now. That's how I feel this year. Like compared to last year, I used to stream pretty consistently. I felt like I streamed way more last year. And this year I'm just like, screw it. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Trying to get the upholstery business off the ground? Ah, yeah. You've been working hard on that. Hey, I hope, I hope it's going well. Order, order. I said order, Miss Von Karma. Where's the bus in question at this moment? Um, um, uh, I, I, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Hmm, this is a rather strange turn of events. Now let's say that the monkey had not stolen the bus. What would have happened then? Well, in that event, something else would have been used as a murder weapon. Hmm, wait. Then... You mean this bus was a murder weapon? Purely by accident? It's possible. But maybe Acro saw money's mounted of stolen goods and thought to use one of them. Very close to just quitting my job and going for it. What? To to stream? Or or the upholstery business? It sounds like I don't know. Are are you like doubling up on your jobs? Like part-time here and then the rest of the time with the, the main business? Anyways, I think we've more than proven one critical fact. 
Namely, that it was entirely possible that Akro was the murderer. Moron! You foolish fool of a moron! Mr. Wright's argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy. However, his argument does hold water. There's no denying that. Oh! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially by this fraud of an attorney. Fraud? You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix, right? And what is that? You should know! You forgot that your fraud of a magical client was spotted at the scene of the crime! Oh. You don't have a Discord? Not like a group? I have a, a Discord... A Discord account? But I, I mostly just talk with friends on it. I don't have like a group or anything. There is no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. That's true. How do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you now. I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. No Rycord, no Rycord. Unfortunately, I have been dissuaded from making that because of too many events in the past and I have no patience for it. <laughs> so, no Rycord. Just chillin'. Chillin' on Twitch whenever I come on. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. One was the victim, Russell Berry, and the other was murderer himself. Oh, what the heck? You're taking too much from me, Von Karma. What is this? Who was the murderer the clown saw? He saw Max's butt. Oh! I asked who was the other person most saw the scene. None of this has nothing to do with the question. Yes, it does. Leave me alone. Au contraire, mon frère. I, I don't even know if I say that correctly. Mon frère. Mon frère? 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 <laughs> it does indeed have something to do with the question. I'm a kill to have Terry and I in a bean can movie night. Well, hey, if if you have a Discord group and would like to invite us, then I'd be I'd be down. That sounds like a good time. Terry French confirmed. <laughs> Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette, but he did not actually see the man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. Oh yeah, here we go. That's the music. How is that possible? It's simple, really. What Mo actually saw that night was Max's bust. But mind you, I've also, I don't really talk a lot on Discord, <laughs> so don't be surprised if I'm just radio silent. If you if you invite, I'm very shy in person, outside of 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 the Twitch streaming. They're really hammering the bus point. I know. It's like they they understood the assignment. <laughs> What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all at all in this case? The silhouette he saw was wearing a cloak. Objection! There's no reason why you could attach the cloak to a bust. It would be easy to hang one off the cards in the bus stands. Idiot, who in the right mind would put a cloak on a bust? It doesn't matter who put it on the bus. Just wait a minute now, Mr. Wright. You'll put the cloak on the bus. That question is about us is of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? Oh, he caught me. So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? Fool! Him? They were saying it was the victim himself, Russell Berry. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the victim himself placed the cloak on the bust? Place the cloak isn't really the right way of putting it. Then, what would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? Explain yourself! Nick, do you really have a handle on all this? I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. Just, just trust me. There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. Alright, so you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time.
Macro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then, he attached that rope to the bust, and dangled the bust out of his bedroom door, or bedroom window, directly above the wooden box. At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. By none other than the ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben and Trillo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. And that's when Akira took his chance and released the rope. Now this is when the magic happens. At the very instant that the bust hit the victim. Ooh, this is a bad way to go. Oh. You wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix, right? As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this is just as it true. It can't be. It's still a little too early to be getting so upset, Miss Von Karma. This circus isn't over yet. Please let me off the ride. I don't like it. I don't like the circus. The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. That impact also caused the sound of a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. That witness was, of course, Lawrence Mo Curls, the clown. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now, having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with a cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. So he just kept pulling the bust up. And that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be. So you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro, it could have only been you! This guy has like no light in his eyes. Zero. Zilch. Akro's been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. So. What now? You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? E evidence? In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. It makes it feel creepy. <laughs> you know, I don't. I, I still remember when they first introduced whispers. But it's been a while. They've been around for so long, and I never, hardly ever utilized them. Don't forget the power of my gavel as well. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence, which I don't know we have that evidence. So. What are we got? I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. But there's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay, then. What was it? Oh, good lord. I don't remember. <laughs> That's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Is that some evidence to the court that backs your claim? I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic case. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I have an idea. Okay. Shoot it at me. Ooh, what if it's this? Well, I mean, I haven't used it yet. I think it's this. I'll wait. 
Okay, I'll do this first, and then you tell me if I die. Oh, it's over. It's over for me! Oh, they hate me! Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's okay. I screamed for you, Phoenix! You didn't even need to! Mine was the photo of the footprints. Yeah, okay. They just shoot Phoenix, right? <laughs> he just dies. Gets obliterated on the spot. Hard proof. All right, all right. You're right. Photo of the footprints. Ooh. Oh, we're so dead. We're cooked. Actually. The only millennial term, or not millennial, Gen Z term that I actually like. We're dead. <laughs> Unusual. What was the contradiction? The thumps? Oh, wait. No, that's not true. Uh, a contradiction from... A contradiction from... Moe's testimony. Wait. Is it the bust again? Nah, that couldn't be it. I don't even know. Emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. Nah, that couldn't be it. Watch that be it. But I don't think that's it. But we haven't used it yet. Hmm. I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic case. But what? So it's not that. I really like this music though. We're totally gonna die. Okay. My- my third thought. Do this again. They hate me. <laughs> they hate me. So a little something unusual about Mo's eyewitness account. Unusual contradiction. Okay. Uh... Mo's eyewitness account. Um... He heard... Okay, from what I remember with Mo... We had to prove that he heard the thump, and that's the reason why he looked out. What was Mo's like? Wait, does it I don't know! <laughs> I don't remember! How about... Okay, it's not this. It's not this. I doubt it's this. Blunt force trauma. The autopsy report. That's actually a pretty good one, too. That could be solid. 
I'll guess the silk hat again. That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe the silk hat? But I like, what are we trying to prove here at this point? Oh. Hi, Donut. Happy Friday. Okay, we'll, we'll go with yours. Oh, wow. That worked? Okay. So, honestly, my next move was picking the three symbols, the poster. You're right, because of the two hats. Problem is, Max has three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in Moe's testimony. The silk hat was one, the, right roses, the white roses were the other. But the theory I just presented explains all these contradictions. You fool! Do you have a shut up? No. Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime! I'm gonna yap all I want. However, remember what Mo said yesterday. I don't actually. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bus. Makes sense. If you look at it this way, then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Fine, you've got one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradict. What, what was the other one? Remember what that ventriloquist said in court? He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said there was no white roses. I'd like to see you try and explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? I can I? Of course I can explain. You are so confident, and I am not that confident. But you're okay. All right, go off, Phoenix. What was that? <laughs> Please recall the instant when the cloak snagged onto the bust. If the cloak snagged onto the bust, what happened to the white roses? Oh, thank god. He just does his leaps of logic for me. Great. You get it yet? If the clock got sn clock clock? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust. It means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. Ah! <laughs> Which explains why Mo, Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bust. Order, order. This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick! Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel! Well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? You took the time to research your circus, didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something making you think I, that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Uh, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude towards the ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. Thus, there's absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. Hmm. Your honor, I'd like to you to I'd like you to hear Akro's story. Learn about his relationship with the ringmaster and his life up until now. Why does Phoenix get arrested for tampering with the crime scene? When does Phoenix get arrested for tampering? No, he does not tamper with it. He only gets arrested in the fourth game, guys. Actually, he gets arrested before the fourth game. But he doesn't really get arrested. He just is forced to retire. But that's a spoiler. <laughs> That we will not ever get answers to until way, way later. Acro's motive, hmm. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel like this is a good place. I agree, Judge. I'm so hungry. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingling's testimony after recess. This court will now take a ten minute recess. We're, we're only going to take a five minute recess, but... Similar, you know. Part two of the same court case. I think I'm jumping 
way too far ahead in my in my logic leaps. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a quick break. Give me three minutes. Not even. Actually, yeah. Four, I give me five minutes because I want to eat and I'm actually quite hungry and all I had is a pretzel so far. So I will take a quick break. Um, I'm also going to run an ad so that way we have a whole, a whole hour of no ads when we walk in. Because I, I think that's quite nice. So I'll be right back. I'm going to just turn this back on. Start over there. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. I probably will not be reading everything just because I will be eating in the meantime, but I will click and comment as need be while we proceed on this case. I want to finish this case tonight. I, I will finish this case tonight. For sure. That is the plan. But I'm so hungry. <laughs> Wow, Gumju, no, 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 come back. <laughs> I like how Gumshu is so easy to win over. You just give him a little bit of attention. He's like, oh my god. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. We're besties again. <laughs> Yo, Gumshoe's a bro. He's actually a bro. Hmm. Good guy. Good guy, Gumshoe. Oh my god, Gumshu looks so light. He looks so happy again. He's not depressed, and I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> a large care package? Is it a bomb? It's milk. Hmm. Hmm. You guys can hear me chewing. That's great. Let me just mute my mic.
Oh my god. Can you imagine if Phoenix opens up with... <laughs> Why were you abandoned by your parents? That's terrible. But at least he questions the actual part. We? Never mentioned his brother up until now. Oh. Okay, good night, Bean. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good sleep. Night night. <laughs> Go to sleep, bean boy. <laughs> You're too cozy right now. Go to bed. <laughs> Then you're very nice. <laughs> no, we appreciate it. <clears throat> Repay the ringmaster, okay. Accept my genuine admiration? Okay, I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I do... I am happy to see that you feel that way. That's good. Good night. Have we actually been trapped? No way. We were forced into this. <laughs> Abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the very big circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at nine years old. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh my god. I just keep burping. Um, I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Was it really? Was it your sole purpose? Oh my god, do I whip this out already? No way. Maybe. Oh! No. Oh. <laughs> I would have cried. Don't make me go through this again. Okay. I'm just gonna rewrite both of these. Screw it. <laughs> Hitting the wrong buttons because I'm, I'm using one hand. I feel like I'm, I'm going to present the new evidence 
and be like, what about this? That didn't work. The music didn't stop. That, that's how you know you failed, when the music doesn't stop. <laughs> oh my god, your sole purpose. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh my god. Ah! I'm sorry. Don't. Stop, stop. I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> I meant to hit the profiles. That's not true. Well, maybe that was. I don't know, actually. How do we be like, but you wanted to Mordor her, his daughter? <laughs> When you're little, you're abandoned by our parents. Okay. I don't have nothing to say to that. That's when the ringmaster of the very big circus, Russell Berry, took us in. Sure. Became an acrobat. I can't refute that. And find a way to repay the ringmaster? That was my soul. I, uh, can we... Can we just be like, was that your only purpose in life? Didn't you want to murder somebody? Dang. That didn't work either. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Is this really a trap? Was I not supposed to do this? Ooh. 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 I became an acrobat at nine years old. Wanted... That was my sole purpose. I press all of these, right? Hold on. I was too busy eating. Isn't Acro such a wonderful person? Maya, don't s stop. We're trying to make this guy murder. Oh, shoot. Okay, I just need to press everything. I'd like to ask you a question. Alright, what's up? Can you provide an explanation as to why Acro would want the. I can't provide one. Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Oh! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolhardly foolish. Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yeah, that sounds about right. The end of things. Agro, you didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of the witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster. It was his daughter. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Rabble, 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 rabble. Order, order. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face. Twice if you must. And then he he just watches the bailiff walk around and like smack people around and go and just just nods. Nods in agreement. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Oh, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Are you attempting to imply that Akron was trying to kill someone else? Okay, I could present two things, I think? Right? Yeah, I am. Bam! Take a look at this! This is- oh! This is my evidence! Oh! What are you- oh! There's 14 more where that came from! Hold it right there. You can take your time with the other 14 later, but for now, let me see the evidence once again. Oh, I'm so scared of what will happen. I can't even move to give it- <sighs> Okay. Oh, they just, oh, I can't believe they just took everything away from me. <laughs> okay, they wanted a profile. I'll show you who he wanted to kill. It was this chick. <laughs> Vegeta Berry. This young girl is a ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? You don't need to answer that. That's a mean spirited leading question. Watch me. I could easily answer this question while I eat my chicken.
Dang. That's a hard line. Did you see that line? I should have pressed A. The only thing that's meant to interrupt me is death itself. That is, that's a hard line. Okay. Okay. Now I present that he was trying to murder, right? Yeah, she is. I was thinking about that too. I'm like, ooh, Regina be listening to all of this and be like, hmm. that letter wasn't for me. I don't know. Do you guys think that after watching all of this today, she could still be in denial of everything that had happened? Like she could still have that clouded, innocent worldview that she was raised in to believe that nobody's actually dead that they'll just come back one day or or that they're always constantly there watching over her like stars or that she was not actually the killer that Acro thinks she is her dad's dead maybe she's come to terms with that i'm just curious how she's reacting to everything right now she has to be like responding to it or does it actually dawn on somebody on somebody like that Somebody that is so innocent to the point that they don't realize that things may, like she just brushed it off thinking it wasn't for her when she initially had it, right? Like you really have to have like some form of like a fantasy. You're living in a real fantasy if you, if it didn't occur to you that it was addressed to you. Or she might have some guilt over it, maybe. Well, if anything, I'm I'm imagining that yes, it's good that she's listening to all of this because now she realizes, hopefully, oh shoot. I mean, I could have ended up dead, but all of this was targeted at me initially. She needs to. She's what, 16? She needs to. Your dad's dead. Objection. Oh my god, that was like all of the fools I could ever read in my life that I just skipped over. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yeah, what about that line? 
Well, if the note wasn't meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that. This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what that note meant, which is why he went to the plaza. In the place of his lovely daughter. Rabble, 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 rabble. Oh my god, and I didn't save for a while, too. Oh! Phoenix! Phoenix, I thought we were on the same page here! <laughs> Shots! No! Conclusive evidence. We didn't link that to bat, you're right. Okay, how far? Ooh. Do I have to start all over again? Ooh. Oh. Okay, I save scum here. All right. This is where the save scum starts. Oh, wait, no, I just loaded up a completely different thing. Ah! Okay, never mind. we're not save scumming. We're starting all the way over here. <laughs> Oh, shucks! Okay. Well... Oh, I, I hate that I don't know my controls! <laughs> what was this one again? Oh my god! Your primary... I don't remember. What was this? Uh... What was this? Oh my god, we just did this! I don't even remember. Sole purpose in life? I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life? Was it... Was it Regina Barry that I presented here? It wasn't. Ooh, I don't remember. Oh my god, this is bad. <laughs> oh, shucks. Okay. I want to find a way to repair the ring- Oh, wait. That's right. It's a trap. That's right. It's a trap. Yeah. It was just this one. Okay, we already went through all, all of this. What a beautiful story. And then he's like, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, save. <laughs> save every chance that you get now. I would like to know. Can you provide an explanation? I can't provide one. Because he wasn't trying to kill the dude. You foolishly foolish fool. The fool who does foolish things. Like pressing the wrong button and ending up loading- Loading up a completely different court case because you hit the wrong button. Several times in successful order. <laughs> What in the- Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Ah. Fine. Regina Barry. Okay. Okay, we're catching up. We're catching up. And I actually have a good save. Objection. Ooh, that hard line, though. The only thing that could interrupt me is death itself. 
I like that. And that was that was good. Okay. Save, save, save. Rabble, 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 rabble. What are you doing to this court? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Regina Berry. Oh, okay. We did it. We we caught up. <laughs> we caught up. You're so foolishy, foolie fool. Conclusive evidence that she is the murderer, right? Is that what we're trying to prove? I don't even remember anymore. What are we trying to prove? What is this incident? Incident six months ago, I know all about it. Moron, wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, your honor. Everything in this case has started six months ago. Really, Nick? I uh, think so. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd like to know. Oh, was that a trap? Maybe it's this one. Wait. The conclusive evidence? Hmm. Atsu! 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 Oh! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. Oh my god, my brain so fat. It's so big. Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away from him. He was doing so because this evidence, this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright, so what exactly are you saying? I'm saying that I got this in the bag, brother. Why is Von Karma taking out so much of my life? She's literally threatening my life here. Okay, is this now where I... I mean, it connects, right? That's just a scarf, Acro. 
The scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? Oh my god. We got it. Oh, we got this. We are on the right direction. Wait, don't word it like that, Judge. That's no, that's that's weird, Judge. Don't don't say it like that. <laughs> How about you just say pointing? Pointing is a good word, Judge. You you could say that. Pointing out the judge. Or pointing out the criminal. Not fingering. So, are we just saying that Regina wanted to murder her friend without knowing she's actually murdering her friend for hee hee ha ha? Being like, hee hee, Leon just bit you on your head really hard. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Is, is that what we're, <laughs> we're trying to say? Yeah, ju just a prank, bro. Heavens. You fool! Are we? Are we the fool? when we're right. Objection. Yeah, what are you trying to say, Von Karma? I just saw a lot of dots there. For objection's sake? And that doesn't cut it, sister. You, this theory, you believe it. Yeah, we do. You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened. Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Afro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. I'm actually gonna save, because I don't trust anybody anymore. <laughs> you foolish idiot! Ha. Ha ha ha. It almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. Is it true? A Acro? You don't mean- you can't mean- witness! Are you confirming the defense's claims, Mr. Wright? Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion? I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would the problem be? The same problem it's always been, evidence. 
if I dropped Max's bust on the top of the ringmaster? Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh, hmm. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the meta weapon or the la- Ooh, I know exactly where it is. Oh my god, give it to me. This is where I wanted to be. Phoenix wasn't bad this case. I was the bad one this case. Because I, I'm i like, I got this. I know where it is. I know. If that were to be found in Akro's room and if it was covered in the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you gotta do something! This is the last step. If I could get this one right, the case is won. See how things work out first. Might not be worthwhile to search Akro's room, but... Why aren't you gonna search his room? Looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. I guess, I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You leave no turn- turns unstoned is what I was about to say, stone unturned. The Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to point on- but to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second, something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you locked the final nail to put into my coffin. Okay, we're not trying to bury you. We're just trying to prove everything. What about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Ugh. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. A bus, where is it now? Hmm, where is the bus right now? You're Phoenix Wright! You know where the bus is! I'm sure you do! There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Bust. That seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Ugh. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end the cross-examination of this witness. Oh, wait. Wrong, wrong person. Witness! Hold it! Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare the, to present its li- li- I mean, case? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what?! Oh! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? D do you really have to, uh, a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Uh, are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, wait. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Thank you, Maya, for not letting it end. Oh my god. Where is Max's bus now? It's in here. It's in here! It's obvious, the bus is inside this very courtroom. It... it obviously... where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off of your wheelchair? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well... You are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. 
I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. I wonder if it like pokes out though? And it's uncomfortable to sit on? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bus is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Ms. Von Karma happened to search her room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it, in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you? You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch a surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away in the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. With the bust, obviously, I could have thrown that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things fi all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of the court hiding the murder weapon? There's no way I can escape that. So you got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing! Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me? Make a mistake? Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that! It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Agro? Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with the pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But... I couldn't just stop and leave. I just couldn't not get. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm... and... Idiots! I can't believe it! You... beat me? Again! I believe... I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict.
Yay! Confetti! Woo! Confetti! Yay! And there's Gumshoe in the corner just throwing the confetti. <laughs> the court is adjourned. December 30, 427. Man, that's a long day. Fabulous! But to be honest, I can't be really... I can't really be too happy about this. Macro, the ringmaster, Regina, and Bat? Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max a million of them! Thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. And she's crying. It's all my fault! <laughs> Sweetie. Sweetie Pie. Bad and Acro, they're never coming back! Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina? Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I just couldn't get up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro... Is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You're really sure? I can believe that? I hope. He gets out. Just starts wheeling towards Regina and just runs her over with his wheelchair. <laughs> How do you like that, Regina? <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> oh no. Terrible thought. Terrible, terrible thought. Acro doesn't have any desire for- You never know! You never know! You better watch your back, Regina! You, you sleep with your eye open at night! Or he might run you over with his real chair! <laughs> and that's true. Then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making- Nah, he's totally gonna run you over now. I, don't, I have nothing to prove to you, girly. Nah, nah, you, you you know what you did? You did nothing for me in this entire case. You were just looked cute and everybody just fawned over you. I don't even know. What? What would it... What would it be? <laughs> um... I just showed this and I'm like, nah, girly, you're dead. You're dead meat when he gets out of the, out of the prison. <laughs> uh. Oh, shoot. What's the answer here? Why did music stop? Now I'm just like... I'm I'm all self-conscious. I don't even know. What can I use to prove that he doesn't want his revenge anymore? Hmm. Wouldn't he have used this, then this? Heck if I know, what's the right answer here? <laughs> I'd feel bad about putting a wrong answer. Something to prove that he does not want his revenge anymore. I wouldn't say it's the pepper because he was absolutely planning to just kill her with this with the statue with the pepper. Why do I care so much? I was just talking about her getting ran over by a wheelchair, but I care. I feel like
Nacro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Matt. That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. But now that Acro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know. What? What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes and then he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. I like how she's crying over Acro and Bat, but not her own dad. <laughs> like, uh... Girl, I- girly, I, I think you're missing out on... You know, your own family? Hey, Max? What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's a big question. My ringmaster was a really amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone's sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made a decision. What is it? I decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen? S don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing that the best circus the world has ever need has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max! Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What'd you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um. Oh, uh, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh, to break my heart into a million pieces and make me realize that I don't live in this fantasy world that's encased in my circus with all these people that I grew up with? <laughs> Is probably what she would say if they would let her say it. But it's okay, girly. I got you, Regina. I'll be your inner voice. <laughs> we gotta work together to make Very Big Circus bigger than it's ever been. No. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It could be the very big circus without Regina Berry. Max! Nick! It seems like everything is going to turn out all right. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. Ah, 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 ah. And he just keeps laughing and laughing and laughing. Ah. <sighs>《I see. What made the case? Yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir! Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Akko really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. That's it. That's like the most important part of turnabout big top <laughs> that, that is like the only like canon thing that happens in, in turnabout big top that is necessary to get through aside from that nah it's an entire filler arc yes save
And we're done. Nice, nice, nice. Now we are going to be... I think this is the last episode. I'm pretty sure this is the last episode. Or the last... Yeah, the last turnabout. Hmm. But do I remember what it's about? Not really. I, I had a discussion about it with my sister. And I'm like, yeah, we're, uh, it ends like this. And she goes, no, it does not. What do you mean it does not? And she tells me what it actually is. And I go, oh my God, never mind. I thought I was done ripping my hair out with all the clowns. No, I'm not done ripping my hair out from the clowns. There's even more clowns waiting for me in this next one. Not legitimate clowns, but I mean, they be lying. Lying every moment that they get, and it's just a horrible time. Because <laughs> this one's actually hard. There is a little bit of annoying characters, but this one's genuinely rough to get through. As far as presenting the right evidence or pressing with the certain correct ones. And it's been a while, so of course I don't actually remember how it goes. Still excited though. Still excited to finish it. Um, I've noticed now that if I don't feel like streaming on a Thursday, I will definitely stream on a Friday. So expect me on either of those days to be streaming more Ace Attorney next week. That is the plan. I feel like this is a good place to stop, though, because this is actually a pretty long case. Usually the last case in these games are the longest. So I would like to just tackle it next week. I think the investigation also takes really long, too. There's a lot of uh, characters that they introduce. Well, not a lot, but, you know, just more new characters to learn, to study. Um, that, and it's midnight, so I would like to spend some time feeding Butterball and everything, so I think it's a good place to stop. Um, but anyway, next week, next week again, more Ace Attorney. I'm just so glad we're done with Big Top. Oh, it's like sitting through that painful filler arc that you know is not necessary, but you have to because the next episodes aren't out yet. That's that's Big Top. That is definitely Big Top. Thank you guys for hanging out. And the worst feeling, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. And I... We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Good night. Let me see if. Uh, is there anybody? Ooh. There is somebody streaming. Okay. I'm gonna send you guys over. Or not? I thought you were live. What happened? No? Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to send you guys over here then. And I will see y'all next week. This person is playing Valorant, so if you are interested in Valorant, please, please watch them. Let me, hold up, let me just make sure they're still streaming. Because the other one just completely blipped out for me. <laughs> Okay, cool. All right. See you guys. Good night.